We talk a lot about inflation on the news and for good reason. It's something that impacts each and every one of our families here on Capitol Hill. Lawmakers talk a lot about inflation too. Republicans have ideas that they take back control of Congress this November to cut spending in the new year to help inflation. Democrats talk about new government programs to offset the high costs if they're able to keep control. But all of those ideas require months of debate, most likely, as well as the necessary votes. And they may not happen, which is why it's refreshing to hear real inflation relief may be on the horizon that won't require a vote from Congress. What am I talking about? Bear with me because I'm going to say something really boring. Cost of living adjustments. It may sound a bit dry, but if you're an older American on Social Security, I know you're listening. You see, cost of living adjustments are the increase in pay Americans on Social Security receive each year. Think of it like a raise while in retirement. Cost of living adjustments are based on the consumer price index, which measures inflation and has been at 40 year highs for most of the year. Right now, the expectation is the adjustment in 2023 will be 8.7%. So if you get a $1,000 check every month, that's 87 more dollars for you. Right now, it's just an estimate what the raise will be for those on Social Security. We're waiting on one more inflation report before the numbers are final. That's expected on October 13th. Of course, many older Americans see each year their annual cost of living adjustments wiped out by Medicare increases. But there is relief on that front, too. President Biden announced last week that Medicare Part B premiums will actually go down in the new year for the first time in over a decade. In Washington, I'm Joe St. George.